we can see things, right? There's a matter which we can see. But then there is also something which we cannot see. So anybody who may not be even from a science background, if you Google and see how much is the matter that you can see and how much is the matter which you can't see or the dark matter. There's a huge difference and I was myself shocked. So this there was a video which Tadashriji had told this. I kind of knew it, but then I did not know the figures. So just to share, this is a scientific study done by NASA. The whole universe is expanding continuously, right? We all know that there's an expansion which happened and it is ever expanding. It's in the dynamic motion of forever expanding. What NASA also has found that there is a dark energy which is forever expanding in this universe. Now, very amazing thing what they found is 68% of all that they could, you know, detect is dark energy and 27% is dark matter. So if you see 95% is something which is dark, only 5% is the manifested matter. All that we see, hear, feel, taste, touch from our five senses, what we can comprehend with the mind, what our telescopes can reach, everything that we know, which is also part of consciousness. And we can imagine all that is on this earth counts for less than 5%. And there is a huge amount of dark source or dark energy. And if I tell you that that dark source or that dark energy is the source from where everything came. And that is what the Adi Shakti Mahakali, the source is represented by. You know, it will give you goosebumps of who we are actually worshipping. That is the source which she represents. And it is described in great details as to how that source, the source which creates the whole universe, that is the mother, right? She created Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, the Trinity God. So she does something in seconds, the creation starts. That is the source which Adi Shakti Mahakali represents. That is the power of who you can connect to. Now, your a very important understanding one should have is that darkness does not, or a dark energy does not mean a negative energy, which we generally tend to understand or you know tend to think. It is an energy. It is a feminine energy or what is called a Shakti. So I think I have a video. So there is this beautiful video which Dadashri Ji's video is out. If you have not seen, you must see this. There are part one and part two of Soul Consciousness where he talks about the dark energy. So I've just taken a small uh, clipping. So masculine and feminine, these energies do exist in nature. So not as gender I said, but just as energy. As energy. It's everywhere. So even if you look at, at your body itself, the body is actually a feminine energy, human body. It's a feminine energy for everyone. And your organs are masculine. That actually you know, adds function, it works. So active part is always masculine, passive part is always feminine. So both exist in this world. So dark, if you see dark, dark is always feminine. And light is always masculine. So that doesn't mean dark means bad. If you, if you must be knowing, you know, 4% uh, of the universe is observable. You you'll watch everything, whatever you see, particles, matter, everything is only around 4%. In this entire uni universe, anything that is visible or matter, that's 4%. So 96% is dark. My God. And the dark is feminine. And 4% is masculine. So you can see, you know, existence, how, how it is. So can we say that Shakti is in darkness? Yes, yeah, so you can call it as dark, that dark uh, existence itself is feminine. It's feminine. So that's why you know, the Kundalini, that's what serpent it's, power, uh, Kundalini Shakti uh. is feminine always. So the, it, it will always try to go upwards. 
so growth is always feminine you know that's how you will always keep moving ahead so descending is masculine so when your kundalini goes down it's masculine energy and when it is going upwards it's feminine energy and both balance each other your masculine feminine you would require both 